Hi there. My name is Anna McKeegan, and this is my craft of pine basketry. Uh, I make it out of uh, pine needles, nice long ponderosa pine is best. Uh, any pine needle for that matter. Could be green or it could be gold, freshly molted while it's still flexible is the way I like, like to work with. Um, and raffia, which is a dry grass. So I weave um, in a coil design these pine baskets just by looping around with my raffia and feeding the basket with fresh needles as I go. And so you've got a coiled design here going on. I've been making them since 2010. I learned from a lady named Ivy O'Brien, and she learned from a First Nation elder uh, near Lillooet, BC. So I've uh, really, really enjoyed this craft. This is a very special craft for me, um, therapeutic in many ways and on many levels. Uh, aromatherapy and as well a bit of meditation therapy and I fully fully respect uh, the origins of this art form and uh, I actually more recently have been making baskets with this red detail which is just red dyed raffia and it takes a fair bit of time stitching it all to get solid red in in my basket um, so with every single stitch of this red raffia, in fact, I put intention into, into the basket. My intention is all about the missing and murdered Aboriginal girls in British Columbia and Canada, in fact, in North America, specifically in British Columbia. Uh, I'm very interested in the history of British Columbia and also especially the history of the Aboriginal peoples and atrocities that happened during a settlement. And, um, but importantly, this red stitching has intention in it for First Nation murdered and missing Aboriginal girls. And with every stitch, I send out my love and I hold space for these young girls. And I give them power and give them my strength and give the family members love and strength in the spiritual realm. With every stitch, I care very much about present day girls uh, that are on reservations or even not on reservations. And I send out my love and my strength. So this is a very lovely craft. It's wonderful in fact. Um, I hope that this is an archetype uh, to show everybody that uh, nothing is totally gone or missing in terms of their culture and their art forms and hopefully even their languages can be preserved uh, forever. Thank you so much.